hi guys how are you all doing this sugar off you now we are going to do what's trending today but before the what's trending i just received this parcel right now so let's do a quick unboxing before what's trending these are stuff that i got from alibaba my son his school water bottle got broken so i had to order him a new one let's see what i got i'm sure this is the water bottle and this water bottle i got for one pound 70 something and it's just a clear i have the small one where is it oh it's somewhere oh this is good this is 500 ml so this is 500 ml clear water bottle oh yeah i have the small the small one is 200 ml 200 is the one that i got for myself for my gym bag and then i got this one for him really good it's just a plastic clear bottle oh he'll be so happy with this one yeah i like this one and then what is here let me see what else did i get wait i need something let me, oh i have a pen here let me use the pen and poke it open <clears throat> I don't know what this one. Oh, I know now. Is um oh egg tray. So if you want to put your egg in the fridge, so it saves space. So you put the egg tray and then fill in it, the eggs. So if you're taking it, the eggs will just be running down by itself. I have eggs there, and I always keep them out, but I just want to keep them in the fridge. And you can see it's just a small component that can fit in in the fridge, and you have your space. So I decided to get this. Oh, I got the white one. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I think I got the. I took the white one. And what's this one? Oh, this is how small. Jesus. That's too small. Oh my God. You know, I do buy these wet wipes from Costco for my kids. And I just wanted to get, because I got this tissue dispenser, the transparent one that I got for myself for my face towel. And I needed something. Oh, I've gone for the big one. And I was like, oh God. But it's okay, it's going to fit in. So I got this one for Jesus Christ. What's going on? It's not closing. I'm going to... Wait, let me see if it closes. So is it my fault? Oh, yeah, it closes. So... But they have to now push, struggle to close it. So this is it. Where they'll put... Where I will put in the white wipes. Yeah. I'm just going to keep this thing in case if I try it and it didn't work. You can always return it. Because... It is summertime and I decided to buy bubble gum gun. Yeah, so they can just have time when we go to the park or something. They just have time to spray bubble gum. A bo bubble, what they call it again? Bubbles. And I went bubble gum. Bubbles. So I had to get this. If you have kids, get them this. It's just summer fun. That's it. That's all I got. So yeah, let's get back into what's trending. Sorry guys, I have to do that unboxing because I just got them right now. I said, let me do the unboxing before we get into what's trending. Today, let's see what is trending on IG. So let's get into it. Quick, quick. Okay. So the first one I saw here is, you raise a beast and not a human being. Uh-uh. to VDM's mom. Oh, let's listen to the video. Ah, uh, his mother did not try. Oh. Baby, that man's mother, they hear me. You did not try. If I see you on one, I go, oh, woes you slap. Me. You raised a beast, you're not a human being. Oh, yeah. Yeah. They say, say, apologize. <laughs> well, I'm not apologizing for Oh, yeah, go side and go side and one by. Go bless you. Oh, 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 Ewo, I want me scream on she. I want me send the S B B one corner. Do you want to judge it? Go to body. Oh my boomy, oh, cause I'm a diff. Yeah, so that is. Uh, let's see. Let's um read some comments on that. Hmm, this is not nice at all. Why are you bringing his mom into this? Is this the queen mother? My dear, it is. I don't want to read what people say. I'm sure some will bash her. Some will say she is right. Let's see. This one said. If a young man decides to disrespect his elders, they will send him home to his parents. That didn't teach him. Charity begins at home. Train your child so he or she won't bring insult upon you. That's true. Has got 24 comments on that. The first one I read has got 17 comments as well. And this person said, the elder we should respect the insult person, mama. Nice, nice. Okay. Has got 21 comments. Let me read this one, the comments under this one. Are you for real? What about the net weight boy? 
raining insults on her all this while. Isn't she a mother? Okay, then this person said, not surprised when we saw you this way on the reality show. They said you were acting. Oh, well. <laughs> One thing with this, yeah, is so two ways. Some people are on VDM side, some people are on Yabo side and the rest. For me, I'm not on any side, but the only thing that he did to me that I feel like he's wrong and he's arrogant and he's really, really disrespectful is the way he called them out. And not just her, like literally insulted other people and then called her or there. Like, put some respect on some names. Like, she has been there for Not just entertainment-wise, she's way, way older than you. Calling her or there is just, it's just, no, no, no for me. Yeah, so let me just read one more. A hey, don't mother don't have time to train their kids so I'm a living witness, okay? And then the last one, Cheesy Posh said, waiting be this. I am ashamed though. Okay, I'm just going to stop it there. Oh, should I, let, let's read one more. And this person said, LOL, this is just to trigger him. I hope he's smart enough not to talk. Yeah, I hope he is. And trust me, he is going to talk. He's going to talk. I just hope he'll be smart enough to just ignore some certain things they say and just move on. Yeah, but he's not willing to back down. So at least one person should be matured enough to just let this go. And I don't know. I don't know. But calling his mom that... What did she even say again? Um, you did not try. If I see you one to one, I will watch you slap. Wow. Just focus on the boy. This, you see, this is what is triggering the boy. This is what is making him upset. Like, if he's talking to you, he wants you to focus on him. Like, you guys should... But another thing, she, he was talking to Iyabo, and then he brought Iyabo's daughter to eat as well. My dear, I'm out. Okay, let me know what you think in the comment section. Let's see the other one. Um, this one is, sorry. The next one is, I will not live in the same state with my future wife. Bro, Ebuka will be reviews. Okay, he's not going to live in the same state with his future wife if he gets married. Daddy Ebuka has made it clear that he's still praying and looking for a wife. Okay, let's listen to what he has to say. I don't want to be sure. I beg you, no message. I can't make today. I'm not going to be able to get some. I'm not going to be able to get some. I'm not going to be able How is this possible? God said you two will come to I can't marry and me and my wife be in the same state. Wow. Uh, it will not be possible. If I want to see her, I will fly. She can be in any wow. one as I am. In Lagos. Or she can be in Canada. In Canada. If I want to see her, I will go and see her. And if she want, and if I see her, I will leave. If she wants to come and see me, she will come. But for two of us to remain in one state, it will not work. Daddy, don't just marry. Don't just marry. Focus on your administration call. Hmm. Amen and amen. amen. There are so many women that are here. Their husband is in abroad. Anybody that wants to marry Ebuka today, we know that you must carry some cross. Hmm. And the cross you must carry is that one of them, Wow. Because do you know how my eyes used to be sometimes around 4 a.m.? John, mom, sometimes if they come to where I stay, on a ask my mother. If I'm preparing to some programs, if the spirit is talking to me, you can't behold me. So, Oh yeah, yeah, mama, no. Marriage money, I can't wait. I'm alone. But marriage money, I have work off for my. In Chile, we have bar flight. Je, no, you need two weeks, one week. We say bye bye. God bless you. Take heart. Wow. <sighs> Guys, that is it. Oh God, this is a man of God, and trust me, you can see the population of people in that church this generation god god said a man will leave his family and a woman will leave her family and they will come together as one how can you get married to someone and you said you will live in another state the person will live in another state you will come two weeks and then you will go and say bye bye and she will come whenever she wants to come and see you how is that marriage and trust me lots of people will listen to him and say yeah that is my papa that is my daddy i'm gonna do what he did what he i'm going to do what he's planning to do Lots of people will take this advice. That is not marriage. Marriage is you to come in to know yourself. Build your home together. You saying bye-bye, her saying bye-bye. Who is going to train the kids at the end of the day? 
definitely to be the woman that will stay with the children. Then how will your kids get to know you? How will your kids get to know the real dad? How will your kids get to know your fatherly love? How will they get to know when they, when anything happened, they will want to talk to daddy? What? My dear, eh, every day things just keep happening that makes you, I don't, God help me. How will a man of God? So, uh, just let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section, please. Because this one, honestly, 100% wrong. There's no way you can marry and your wife will be here. I know people do it. Situation can happen. Circumstances can happen for this to happen. But is this something that you just wake up and say, you know what, this is how I want to marry. I want to marry and I'll be there. My wife will be there. And I'll come and see her two weeks and I'll say bye-bye. And do you know what? I don't know what to say. But you know what? Good luck to whoever that he's going to marry. Good luck to that person. Let's read some comments on what he said. Let's just see what people have to say. And this person said, Ebu Kaunyembu, this guy says some of the cringiest and unintelligent things I have heard online. I'm telling you, this one is unintelligent, 100%. Something is fundamentally wrong here. There is something is fundamentally wrong. Because if he's got his father's love in his life, he will find out that this is not how to behave. And if his father is not there and his mom taught him right, or the men around him behave right, he will find out that this is not how to behave. So whatever that happens to you in your life, you won't want that to happen, to repeat itself. You want to be the best version of whatever that happens to you. And if his dad is in his life, and he find out how his dad treated his mom, or how his dad is treating his mom, he wants to leave as an example. If his dad is this kind of like proper African man that said, you know what, I don't care. Like women is women, you have to do your thing, don't come to my room. Or maybe his dad has got loads of wives as well. Who knows, but like this person says, something is fundamentally wrong here, definitely. And then another said, and don't get married now, nah. focus on your mission. That was why I said, don't get married. Focus on your ministration. Focus on your calling, whatever you call it. Focus on it. Don't get married. Don't get married. Why do you want to get married just to see her two weeks and you say bye-bye and you go? doesn't make sense. And then this one said, he knows his opening is very strong. That's why he's saying it won't work. They can't stay together, really. And the last person that I'm going to read said, okay, <laughs> church member has come. She said, no, Ebuka Obi slander will not be tolerated. One. She won't tolerate anyone that will slander a Bukobi. Did you guys hear that? Be careful. Guys, I'm just going to leave that here. I am going to leave that here. Let's see what else we have. This one says, Dr. Aproko, talk another thing, I beg. Okay, let's see why they said you should talk another thing, I beg. What's this? Go on. Let's see. I know it's already too late to advise you people on this one. Thank you for saving me. But so that it's not be at me, I'd not okay. say it. I will just say it. <laughs> but the truth is, your body does not actually need a sponge. I want to hear of this. I know, yes, you have gotten used to it the day you were born. It's as a matter of fact, they were born safe. It was sponge that they used to mm -hmm. do induction. <laughs> You need to understand that if you're scrubbing your skin too vigorously, especially with these type of sponges, what you're doing is that you're tearing your skin in ways that you cannot even see. It's called micro tears. And when you cause those micro tears, it can introduce microorganisms into your skin. And before you know what's happening, skin infection. Another thing that's happening is your skin has natural oils. When you scrub too vigorously with these type of things, what you are doing is that you are stripping yourself of those natural oils. And if you're the kind of person that wants to take your bath like this, your body will start scratching you. Try and remove the sponge and then thank me later. True, true. Yes. 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 If you are working mechanic and your body is visibly mm -hmm. dead, yes, of course, you used to work inside gutter, you come out, you do mechanic, you know, it's very obvious that you work in visibly dirty environment. Voila. <laughs> this might help, but make sure it's soft and ensure that you don't use it every day of the week. Sometimes just use the normal soap. Really? And then, yeah. you know, use your hand. Have you ever seen soap advert where they are using sponge? Think about mm. it. But in your house, you have some paper in your skin. Mm. Haven't you done enough? My dear, we're used to using sponge. I can see myself having my shower without a sponge. That is not going to happen. Sorry, doctor. I know I listen to you, but this one, I need a sponge. I need a sponge. Even scrub. Sometimes you scrub your skin. So that means, is he saying that scrubbing the skin is bad as well? But one thing that I've noticed here, if you have skin infection, like if your skin is reacting to anything, don't use sponge. My son's skin has been reacting for some time now. And for nearly two months now, I've stopped using sponge. So the only way he uses sponge is on his armpit, like the vital areas that he needs to clean. He uses sponge. But on his body, where the reactions are, he stopped using sponge. And he's looking better now. So yeah, if you have anything that is going on on your skin, just use your soap. Don't add sponge. Because the sponge gets it like irritated and then it starts itching him again and new ones start coming out. But since we stopped the sponge, he's better. So that one, I can agree. But for more, not to use sponge. 
Let's see if it is coming. Okay, this person said, this advice is inappropriate for Nigerian weather. The humidity and polluted environments will make you consider an iron sponge. <laughs> the focus is not to live as long as Smetu <laughs> See, first where they advise. This person said, okay, I'll be gentle with the sponge. He said, don't use sponge at all. Rather, go and get the foam sponge and use the foam one that people use sometimes in washing their dishes. Get that one. Okay, I will be gentle with the sponge. If I use ordinary sponge to bathe, it will be doing me like I haven't had my bath for that day. Okay, <laughs> you they laugh, you never start. And this one said, I haven't used sponge in years and my skin is just beautiful. It's actually right, but this one, so hard. Uh, uh, wait, though. let me read this again. In years, how come? Wait, I haven't used sponge in years and my skin is just beautiful. He's actually right, but this one go hard for my people to believe because that hard bathing sponge now must for now must for majority my dear for years really and the last one says now almighty order our dr proko one course okay i'm going to leave it there let me see if there's another one for us to do wow you haven't used sponge for years okay let me see another one Another one is Iabo Joe on this VDM stuff again. She said, if VDM wants to be an activist, you should face it and stop misleading and manipulating people. Okay, Iabo Joe, let's listen to what she has to say. The people that would put their hands in their pocket now and contribute money for your bill, if they don't have that money to contribute, how would you come out of it? Tell me. Hey, remember, you 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 want no more idea? The last time that they brought you to Lagos, said you were very happy in the room. Yeah, 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 yeah. Happy, you were happy mingling with all of them. The, the, all of them, you were very happy. So if you know that you want to remain with the poor, I just remain with the poor. You just open your mouth. Show, 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 me back to you, you enjoy. This why it's not the end today, tomorrow. Again, again, again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stop, Papi. Who you have? Oh, motoba, mot, moti. Yeah, like. It's not ready to stop. Let's read some comments. No, because it's actually crazy. He should mention at least five, four people he still rolls with now, because it's looking like either jealous people will get past some Gwagwalada Nelson Mandela. Some Gwagwalada Nelson Mandela. Hey. Ah, uh, people get mouth to <laughs> uh, this person said, You were rich. How many communities you don't reach out to? Now today showcase money online, Una Sabi. Nonsense. I blame Una fans finding rubbish celebrities up and down. Uh, this one at the uh, what's it called? Video person. This one said, Somebody's mother will oh, I beg is too early for this kind news. <laughs> <laughs> Mumu, <laughs> okay. This I said, Mumu. Simple sue him to court now and stop using the police to harass him. Is that not the same oppression we they talk about? <laughs> VDM, very manipulative boy. Uh, this one said, Oh, more who dash you now, queen? Queen mother, <laughs> who dash you now, queen? This one said, Queen mother, because what is all this? <laughs> Without the queen mother, I beg, make could I watch this thing without sound? Make could I see Una queen mother? <laughs> Wait, guys, let me play this without sound. Let's see. <laughs> hey, let me play without sound. Give me a second. <laughs> uh, it feels like I like trouble, boys. Now, wait, wait, wait. Let me play without sound. I'm sorry, but I just want to. Mm, yeah, <laughs> it looks a bit funny. <laughs> yeah, that she's making her face looks very funny. <sighs> but but VDM, VDM is a cute boy. Why, why, why is she doing her face like that? That guy is cute though. Hey, no, no, now I can't. Now I can't. <laughs> Hi, God. People, eh? Mm, 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 mm. Mainly Nigerians, eh? They can catch crews with anything and everything. <laughs> Look at me even watching it without sound because they asked me to. <laughs> Look at her face. <sighs> hey, God, I'm sweating. <laughs> I'm sweating. <laughs> hey, 
Madam Leaf Children, no. Ah, he's done now. Let me see if I can see another one. <laughs> another one before I go. So Abraham reportedly arrest ex user for cyberbullying and defamation. Aha, well, <laughs> another arrest, Otila. Okay. Yellow said your son will use me as scapegoat. Okay, let's watch this last one. This last one is um spidality. Admin, I just worry. Who dear? Okay. Let's see what Abby did. Abby, if you don't know him, he's Pidalentin. He's one of the natural, funny guy back home in Nigeria. He's a musician. He's a self-comedian. He doesn't need a script to be a comedian. He's just self-comedian. And he's funny when he wants to. And sometimes, let's just listen to him. I like him. Sometimes. Why is he not like that? Why, why is he keeping? Who dear? <laughs> Who? Dear? Who? Princess. From where? Princess, you're talking again. Yeah? This, uh, I'm, my friend forgot something in here. I want to pick it up. Okay. Don't worry. Okay. 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 Who your friend? Who? Is this Emmanuel, my colleague at work? He just texted me that he left his face back here. It's not his rapid, rapid, uh, rapid written on it. Okay, come back. Let me see. What? Are you staying here? Come back. Let me I am upstairs. Okay, where's your friend at? He's upstairs. He, so the thing is, he's among the people that came yesterday, but then uh, he, he couldn't, he's not, he's not come back here. No, he doesn't stay here. And I'm leaving now, so he doesn't want him to come down, pick it up, and meet with me again. Okay, one moment. I'm really sorry, I need to go home. Oh, no, wait, you know. fire, Emmanuel. Oh, yeah, we're Emmanuel. Oh, my host. Oh, shit, don't click it with my host. Oh, my host, you can't sit on the fire. You see what I tell you? You see what I tell you? It's a comedian without knowing. <laughs> oh, maybe, 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 maybe Emmanuel was a friend. They watch you. My mom buying this live video now. <laughs> he's one I wouldn't even bother going through his comments because, I, like I said before, he's a self made comedian. He's a musician. And you can Google him, find out stuff about him. He's re his name is Spidalentin or Abiwan Mama. Any of the two names, you can call him. He's really funny. Like, when I mean someone is funny, he's really funny. Yeah, so guys, that is what is trending. I just wanted to come here and share with you guys. I need to go to Boots. I ordered something and I asked them to deliver it in the Boots store around me. So I'm going to go there now to go pick it up. Which of the Boots did I even ask them to deliver? Is it this one here or the one in Waffle Store? Oh, God. Wait, let me check. Yeah, so I'm going to go get my order. Sorry, guys. I need to go get my order now. So that is the end of this video. Don't forget to show yourself love, and I will definitely catch you guys again. And if you like this video, please don't forget to like it. Leave your comment for me in the comment section, please. It helps to build the algorithm. It helps people to see the video. Help me. If you watch it, just like. It takes nothing but just that one click. Like it, and then leave me a comment, please. If you don't know what to leave me, just say good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whenever you see, and I will definitely reply you back. And that is it. I will catch you guys again. Have a lovely day. Bye.